Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a first look at the SPR-208 Marksman Rifle. It is not a sniper rifle, uh, but it has very similar attributes to the CAR-98, and the CAR-98 in some cases acts like a sniper rifle. So is this a sniper? Is it a Marksman Rifle? You can kind of classify it as both. It will do the job for both. Make sure you're leaving a like on this video here today, and make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you can find your way back we're gonna check out all the attachments then we're gonna hop in a bot lobby and kill some bots in private match man no online because i don't have it unlocked yet but it'll still give us a really good representation of what we're looking at for the spr 208 so for the muzzle it's the same thing as any other weapon there's nothing new in here as you guys can see all the stats are the same the huge so we have the barrels this is where we have you know a ton of new barrels for a new weapon we have the ZLR Vera Twist 9.6. You get range and bullet velocity, sacrificing some ADS speed. So really a decent barrel there. You have the ASP, which is going to give you ADS and movement speed at a cost of velocity, recoil, and aiming stability. You have the SPR 26-inch barrel, range, bullet velocity, and recoil control at the cost of movement speed and ADS speed. And then you have the Dragoon which is going to give you sound suppression and bullet velocity at the cost of ADS. So I think the 26 inch and the Dragoon are probably going to be the two barrels you use the most, but that Vera Twist definitely isn't bad if you're you know, not looking for a ton of cons to run on your SPR. Moving on to the lasers, you can only use attack laser. There's no 5 milliwatt, there is no 1 milliwatt, just attack laser for the optics. Pretty much the same story as usual. We have the SPR 28 millimeter here, which is, I don't know what this looks like yet. We can probably throw it on in game and check it out, see if it's any kind of different sniper scope or if it's just a regular sniper scope. Um, but other than that, not much new in the optics. The stocks are pretty much all new and just for this weapon, we have the ultimate, which is going to be ADS and aiming stability. And then you have the pro, which is going to be recoil control and aiming walking movement speed. You have the Blitz, which is Sprint to Fire Speed, ADS Speed, and Aim Walking Movement Speed, which seems like it will be the best stock for this. And then you have the Overseer, which really turns this one into um, something very close to an R700, which is Recoil Control and Aiming Stability. I heard on Twitter that this thing has absolutely no recoil with the right build, so very interesting stuff. For the perks, all the normal perks that you would see on Marksman Rifles, now here is a brand new one there is no grip tape for this weapon it is actually the bolt assembly so you have the dead eye and feather the dead eye is going to give you rechamber stability so if you remember like any weapon like let's say the car 98 you're adsing and you rack the bolt your whole entire gun is going to move around while you're doing that i would assume with the dead eye this will not happen you will have basically no movement on your weapon while you are rechambering and then the feather is just going to give you rechamber speed. So let's say you can pump out 20 rounds a minute. This would probably up it to like 30 rounds a minute. Just example for random numbers. So that is the deal there. Now the ammunition, we have a lot of good stuff here. We have a base magazine of five rounds. And then you can up that to 10 rounds. It's going to be uh, 300 Winchester. And then you can move up to a 300 Norma, which is going to give you bullet velocity and damage range with not a lot of cons. And then you have the 338 Lapua, which is absolutely insane. Uh, 338 Lapuas are nasty. They're mean. And when I saw this, I was super excited and I wanted to put this ammunition on right away. The fact that they added a 338 Lapua conversion kit now with some of the attachments is absolutely awesome. And I'm super excited for that. So... Moving on to the last one, the underbarrel. I don't really think there's a need for underbarrel attachments on a sniper rifle. I really don't. I mean, even if you have the highest rechamber speed and you're running around, I mean, it might be a really cool weapon to hit some clips with. It just really depends on how it's going to look. Now, keep in mind, we are running the iron sights once we go ahead and um, check out that sniper scope as well. We'll probably just take off that bolt assembly. Or I guess we could take off the ammunition just to get a good look at this sniper rifle. Regardless, we're going to hop in game and check it out. All right, guys, we are loading in. Let's check out the inspect. Out nice. I wonder if the ammunition changes, like when you change the ammunition attachment, if it physically changes or not. That would be cool to see. All right, guys, you don't have to try too hard. The recruit bots definitely got buffed. I'm saying it now. I might even make a video on it because they are shooting back, and I don't like that. We're trying to make a video. 
But, um, yeah, let's see how this thing's feeling. ADS feels really nice. I love the weapon sound, too. Oh, wow. Alright, let me try and get a little more accurate real quick. And then let's see if we consistently get these one taps. Oh, wow, that felt pretty good. Mobility feels decent. Can't hit my shots right now. But I don't think we've gotten a hit marker yet. I'm going to shoot someone in the leg and um, see if we do hit marker or if it's going to one shot. Okay, it does hit marker, so good to know there. Even with the 338 Lapua rounds. As I said, the bot's finally shooting back. So, might be a touch more lackluster than per use. That faster rechamber is nice. Missed that one. One bullet in the mag. Got him. I'm a little trashy with the iron sights. I'm not even going to lie. Not exactly my strong suit for snipers. But I will say, it kind of reminds me just of the MK2. I mean, our first hit marker there. But I think we might have been a little bit of bullet pen there on the box. Yo, bots spawn killing? They're on a whole new level. I don't know what Infinity War did to these dudes. God, man. He don't miss. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and throw the um, sniper scope on here. I want to just see if we can get like any long range kills with the iron sights. How accurate really is it? I mean, it's not. It's a pretty clear sight picture, which is nice. I'm just really missing my shots. Alright, so we'll go ahead and throw the sniper scope on here once I die. I don't know if I want to take off that faster rechamber, though, because it feels really, really good with the class that we are currently running right now. And this is going to give a ton of opportunity for montages, clips. I mean, this class that I'm running right now, anything above the chest or even above the waist is feeling like it's going to one-shot. So let's take off probably the bolt, which is right here. Now let's put on that sniper scope right here the spr and let's see what we're working with all right so it's a little bit different than the sniper scope oh that feels really nice actually see i personally love how the sniper scope looks in this game oh my god so this being very similar uh does look great yeah, it looks good. I don't know how we missed that one. This thing's feeling nice, man. This one might actually be like my new my new favorite marksman rifle. Big fan of the Car 98, but th this thing's feeling nasty. But guys, let me know what you're thinking about the SPR-208. Honestly, I think the 338 Lapua combined with the long barrel is just making this thing an absolute tank. It's making it a beast. And um, this ADS speed with this sniper scope is feeling really good. So guys, I think we're going to wrap it up there. If you did enjoy the video here today, be sure to leave a like on it, man. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. 
Check out the membership option below along with the equipment I use and all my sponsors in the description. Like I said, leave that like and subscribe so you can find your way back for another Modern Warfare or Cold War video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out.